Hi everyone and um, welcome to my new tutorial. This one is for this super super beautiful um, cluster blanket. Um, this is actually, as you can see, a rather large blanket that I've made for a baby that's coming very soon. Not mine, I'd just like to say. <laughs> um, but it's proved so popular on Instagram and Facebook and things that and everyone was asking me to do a tutorial for it. So here it is, and it's one of those stitches that looks so nice on the back as well as on the front. So this is the front side, and then this is the back of it. And like I say, it's it's just as nice. I actually prefer the back, which might sound a bit crazy. Um, but let's get started on the tutorial for this lovely blanket. So if you need to know how to do the slip knot and chain really slowly, then go and check out my beginner series. I will link that below. But let's get started now. So to start with, you do just want to create your slip knot and insert your hook. And we're going to do our foundation chain. And for this foundation chain, you just need to chain an even number. So any size that you like, as long as it is an even number. So to chain, you just go into yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through. And you just go in to continue that until your foundation chain is as long as you need it to be. So I've just done a quick sample piece and I've done 22 chains. And now we're going to work our way back across. So we're going to do a double crochet um, into the second chain from the hook. Remember that's double crochet UK. In the US, this is your single crochet. So this first chain is number one and we want to go into the second chain which is this one, just here. So you're going to do a double, so you just pop your hook straight through that stitch, yarn over and pull up, so you've got two loops on your hook, and yarn over and pull through. We're then going to do another double crochet into the next stitch along, and then we're going to chain one, skip one, and then a double crochet into the next stitch. Then we're going to chain one, skip one, double crochet into the next. And again, chain one, skip one, double crochet. And you're going to repeat that all the way along until you get towards the end. Um, but meet me back before you do get towards the end because to finish off your foundation row it is a little bit different in your last few stitches. So double, chain one, skip one, double and you're going to do that until you get to your last few stitches. So if you want to pause the video now and work that all the way to your last few stitches and I'll meet you back there in just a moment. So I'm just coming towards the end now and I've just done a double and a chain one and I've got three chains left. And so what you want to do at this point is skip one as normal and then you're going to do one double into the last two stitches. So one into that last one and you're not going to chain in between. You're just going to do one double into the last two stitches. So that is how your foundation row should be looking. And to start our next row, we are going to chain four. So one, two, three, and four. And then we're going to turn our work around. We're now going to work back along doing our clusters. Now, because I like quite a thick and poofy cluster, um, I actually do five stitches technically. So to do a cluster you want to yarn over and we're going to go into the gap just here um, from the previous row. So you've got your two doubles here and you're going to skip over those and you're going to go straight into this first chain one space here. So you're going to yarn over, insert into that space, yarn over and pull up. So you've got three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through the first two. Then you're going to yarn over insert into that space again, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, you've now got three loops on your hook, 
Yarn over, insert back into that space, yarn over and pull up. Yarn over, pull through the first two. You've now got four loops. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up. Yarn over, pull through two and you've now got five loops on your hook. You're then going to yarn over and pull through all of those loops that are left on your hook. And then you go into chain one, which will secure. And that is your very first cluster stitch. So we don't chain anything in between our clusters. We are literally just going to go straight into the next chain one space, which is just here. And we're going to repeat that process again. So yarn over, insert into that chain one, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert back into that space, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, that's three loops, and again, yarn over and pull through the first two, we've now got four loops, one last time, yarn over, pull through two, and you've now got five loops. And again, you're going to yarn over and pull through all five of those loops and then a chain one. And we're gonna repeat that all the way across. So if you need to pause or rewind, um, then do that now. So you're just going to repeat those clusters all the way along into every one of the chain one spaces. So you've got your chain one, double, and then your chain one. And if you want to work the way across until you get to your very last chain one space just here and that's where I'll meet you. So I'm just getting towards the end of my foundation row now. I just have this one last chain one space here so I'm going to do my last set, my last cluster stitch into that last chain one. my five loops and then I'm going to do the chain one again and then we've got these two doubles from the previous row. So what you want to do after you've done your little chain one is just find the top of that very last stitch just here and we're going to do one treble, remember that's UK treble, into that very end stitch can be a little bit fiddly when you're working into the into a double. So just make sure you've got the V as well and you're just going to do one last treble. Now I'm, you could just carry on the pattern now all in one colour it would still look really nice but that is how you should be looking with your cluster stitches. But because I'm going to change colour, I'm not actually going to complete my treble. I'm just going to leave it on the last two loops just here. And I'm going to move on to a different colour. And so I'm just going to take my new colour. And I'm going to pull it just through those last two stitches. And then I'm going to do a chain one, which secures the colour change but that doesn't count as any of your turning chains. And I'm just gonna tie my new color on with my old color. So now we're going to chain one with our new color and turn. And we're going to do a double crochet. Remember that's UK double US single into the very base of where we have just come up from. So in, right into the very base of where we've just come up from just here, making sure you've got the V on the top you're going to do one double. We're then going to do a double into this space here. So straight into the space, you're going to do another double. And you are then going to chain one and skip across into the space between your clusters and do a double. Chain one, skip across in between your clusters and do another double. Chain one, again, skip across in between your clusters and do a double. Chain one, skip across in between your clusters and double again. Chain one, skip across in between your clusters. And you're going to do that all the way along. So if you want to meet me back when you 
get towards the end of your row and we'll go from there. So I've just done a double and a chain one in this space here and then I'm right at the end of my row so I'm going to do a double into the space between my chain and my cluster so I'm going to do a double and then into the top of the chain three well it was a chain four but you want to find that third chain so one two and then three just here and oops like I say it can be a little bit fiddly finding this very last stitch here we go and again you just want to make sure you've got two loops on your hook like this and do one last double into that stitch so that's how we should be looking so far and now we're going to chain four two three and four and turn and we're then back to doing our clusters again so into the chain one space just here that you've just created you're going to do a cluster stitch exactly the same way as you did for the previous row of clusters and you're just going to work that all the way across until you get to the other end of your work which is where I will meet you again in just a minute. So I've just done my last cluster in my chain one space and I've done my little chain one in between and now again we've got our two double crochets left from the previous round and you just want to do one treble into that very end double crochet. And again I'm going to change colours here so I'm going to not pull through those last two loops and I'm going to attach a new colour, this nice raspberry one. And again, I'm just going to pull that through those last two loops. Do a chain one to secure the colour change, but remember that never counts as a stitch. And then I'm going to do my chain one, which I would normally have for turning. I'm going to snip that one away. And then I'm going to just tie my old colour and new colour together. So I did my chain one and I turned again and again you just want to do one double into the base of where you've just come up from. So just this very base stitch here, you're going to do a double into there. And then you're going to do a double into that space just next to it. And then again you're going to do exactly what we did before, chain one and skip to the space between the clusters and do a double, chain one, skip between your clusters and you're just going to do that all the way along again. And you are literally going to repeat those last two rows over and over again until you get as big as you want it to be. But that is literally it for the cluster pattern. I really hope that you like it. And like I say, I always say it, but remember to tag me on Instagram if you do complete anything from my tutorials. Um, I, I do love seeing what you get up to and I always like to comment on them as well. It's really nice to see. <laughs> but that's how we're looking again now. And I've just done my last double and my chain one and I'm back to the other end and again in that last space just here you're going to do a double and then you want to find the top of this the third chain in your previous chain four so one two and that's the third stitch just here and you're going to do another double into that stitch and again you're ready then to turn and work your clusters so chain four and turn and then you're going to work back across again but that is literally it for the pattern <laughs> so that's the end of my raspberry row and that is how it's looking and that is literally it for the pattern but I really hope that you've enjoyed this lovely tutorial it's one of my absolute favourites for baby blankets um, but if you did enjoy it please remember to give me a little thumbs up and also read my description box below because I do always put links to where I buy things and what I've used 
and also to my little family video channel as well. Um, but that is it guys, but please remember to subscribe as well for my little weekly videos. But thanks as always for watching guys and I will see you again very soon.